What's happening, TNT gang? Welcome to the channel. This is where comedy and cars collide, and today we are gonna ride that new Come on, man. A new You killing me, man? A new wave within the car culture. Co park cars, getting the salvage titles, getting them and rebuild them and everything. Look at this dude. Bro, I just realized this man ain't got a <laughs> shirt on, man. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 no. Crap. guys like i said before this is the co-part series that we're gonna have the way we're gonna be searching for our next project card yes our next project card me and him we've been we've been building a 1986 c10 man we're trying to get it you know the best that we can on a budget but i know for yeah. us in this channel to build will you chill out chill out man chill out i know you're excited man this man is excited man he He's um, a car enthusiast on the low. I. He's a newbie. I'm going to try to learn him Perfect. or teach him the best that I can, man. I don't know everything. Look at this fool. But, hey, we got to keep the generations going, man. We got to keep this car thing going. Because you know everything turned into electric. But those electric cars, they got a place, you know what I'm saying, within the car culture, too. But, uh, like I said, we are going to be looking at Nissan 350Z. Yes. Yes, yes, I know. You know, we're Chevy guys at heart. But he said he wanted to check out the Japanese cars. Yes, the. the How you do? Konnichiwa. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, hi, oh, The. Yeah, yeah. The 350Z, Nissan 350Z. So today we're going to go search through Co Park in our local area. We're going to put it in Georgia because that's where we're moving. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and look for some cars. So, let's go. Three fifty Nissan three fifty Z. We ain't gonna put the three seventy Z because we already know we can't afford them jokers. All right, we're gonna go. We're going. Let's see. Let's get it close to us. Three zero two four zero. Go. All right, we already got an orange. We look at that orange one right there. Boy, what you think about that? That's in the ATL. Everything's gonna be, you know, in the Atlanta area. We're in a smaller town that we're gonna be going to. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go run and drive. We don't want nothing that's not gonna be run and drive. And uh, yeah, let's go over here and let's click on a couple of them and see what we got going on. You wanna check out this orange one first? Nope. Huh? No? Okay, all right. And it's a drop top too, if y'all can't see that. It's a drop top. What we got here? Let's see. I'm gonna just click on it anyway, so we can go to the next one. Yeah, so we can see it up close and big. Why does it cost that much for money? You talking about, this is the estimated value. Right here, this is what they say it's gonna be worth, but you never know because they don't know. They don't know the extent of the damage and all that kind of stuff. It's just a rough guesstimate. This is just a rough estimate on here. See, this is where the current bid is at that $150. It's a pure sale too. So what that mean? That means there's no minimum uh, reserve, which is good. You know, if we're bidding on it, there's no minimum. Ain't that what it say? You stupid. <laughs> yeah, there's no minimum reserve. But we do, we do want a manual. Well, this one got a manual. And uh, I forgot to tell you. Most of these cars are wrecked. You see how they're, uh, yeah, they crashed. We gonna have to build it, you know, uh, pull off the damage. Oh, what the world, this got white seats. You see that? I wish I had the games inside it. The games? 
Jags and the Bucks, dude. Oh, he's talking about that van, y'all. I tell you one thing this does have in common with the van is the engine. The 3.5 liter engine. It got the same motor in our van as in this mm -hmm. supposedly sports car. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, let's go to the next one. You don't seem too enthused about that one. How about this red one? Mm -mm. Nah, it's gotta... red. I know all of them gonna be red. We're gonna have to build it, Taj. And one good thing about this car right here, uh, you can see that it is an auction, not an auction, but an insurance car. Uh, you know, by that little sticker on the on the window. I don't know where it is over here. It's also a pure sale. Uh, it's salvage title, you know, as you can see right here up at the top, salvage title. Which ain't no big deal, you know what I'm saying? When you're building this kind of stuff, you know, what we're going to do, we're going to probably, we're not going to drift it, you know what I'm saying? Cause that ain't my style, man. How many black guys you see drifting? You know what I'm saying? Not too many, but it is something out there. But what we'll do, we'll probably make it fast and it's going to, you know, it's going to look real good. That's probably what we'll do if we do get a 350Z, which, you know, I kind of doubt it. Because think about it, Taj, we only can fit two people in there. That's not good. So it's just gonna be either me and you, me or mom, or me or any other brother. You know, that ain't good. We gotta have yeah. something with at least two back seats. Yeah. Well, I, well, we'll see, we'll see. So one of us gets to stay here. Yeah, and it, the other person get to ride with me because don't nobody else in the family know how to ride, drive a stick. But uh, let's keep on looking, let's keep looking. Oh, look at this one. What you think about this one? Ah! Uh, you like this black? Yeah. Yeah, but only thing, look, it's a convertible. A convertible. Yeah. A convertible means that the top comes off. The only thing I know that about this car is at the front is not wrecked. Yeah, it's not wrecked. Got the same engine, pretty much as in the van. Uh, got 150,000 miles. Only bad thing is that it's a it's an automatic. We don't want an automatic. So you see, it's a big dent in that door. Why don't we want an automatic? Because that, okay, let me tell you, car enthusiasts, people that like to drive cars, they like to drive manual, especially in sports cars. For daily driven cars, we'll drive automatics. Okay, that means you just put it in gear and then you just drive. It. Manual was like my um, SRT, my green car that I had, the Challenger. It had a stick. Remember, I used to have to mm -hmm. change gears and stuff like that. Oh, I missed that car. I missed. All right, let's look at the next one. What we got? What we got? Oh, this was not wrecked on the on the front, but it does have damage in the back. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I that, didn't notice that. Yeah, that back quarter panel right there. Yeah, that'd be hard to fix. A back quarter yeah. panel. Because uh I don't free. No, it's not free. Oh yeah, it, it do say zero dollars, but you have to bid on it. Other people on the other side of the internet, they'll be bidding on it too. Mm. Uh it's a manual. It's run and drive. It has a salvage title, 117,000 miles on it, which um, ain't that bad. Wow. It's not that bad. Only thing is, only thing that will stop me from getting this one is the back. Yes, yeah, this this quarter panel back there. Those that's pretty tough to to fix without having to get a whole nother quarter panel and welding it in because I know they're not bolt on. So nah, let's go to another one. Let's go to the ooh. Yep. That one got a smashed. Oh, that, that was kind of scratched. Yeah, that one smashed. Zero dollars. Yeah, it's bid it for zero dollars. No, nah, that's not the one we're gonna be looking at because it has a the dash uh, airbag is no nah. dash and the driver oh, yeah. airbag. Nah, we'll pass on that. What's wrong with the airbag? It deployed because they crashed. That means the air, airbag came out. And it saved them from busting their face wide open. Yeah, which is not good. This one doesn't look too bad. Mm -mm. It got some ugly wheels on it. It's uh, uh, it's a bunch of different colors. 
Yeah, a man who? It's a salvage title. It's a zero. Oh, it's salvage title non ram. I don't know what that is. I guess you can't. I mean, can you not get this back? Can you not uh, drive it back on the road? I don't know what that means. Hey, let me know what y'all what that means in the comment section if if y'all know. Nah, Dennis, it's an automatic. We can't have an automatic 350Z. That's a no-go. Let's see what we got next. How about this one? Wow. This one doesn't look too bad. 90,000 miles, run and drive, seller and state farm, which is good, always good to go with an insurance company because they'll pretty much, they won't hide too much of the damage. A lot of times the body shops will circle where the damage is or write it on the car where the damage is. So that, that would be awesome. That would be good to get oh, that quarter pounder, man. Oh my goodness, then it's dented. It's dented pretty bad on the quarter pounder panel. Mm. Which ain't it's not bad though. Then it looks like the, the rim is it's obviously Scratch. it's obviously gone. This is not the same rim as yeah. those right there. Those look like it's scratched. Yeah, it, yeah, it's scratched for sure. It's scratched for sure. But uh yeah. This one doesn't look too bad. You know, back home, I got a lot of guys that know how to do body work. So, you know, we could be able to, you know, take this out, this quarter pound out, and weld in another one. That's what I'm thinking it's going to take. I, I know for sure that's what it's going to take. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a good one right here. I, I kind of like this one. The location is in Spartan, Spartanburg, South Carolina. I thought I put, I tried to filter it down, but hey, it's all good. Spartanburg ain't that far from us. That's a good candidate. Good candidate. Wow. Yeah, this one's kind of tore up pretty good. But the crash bar in the front, crash bar in the front, I think that's what you call it. Look like it's probably tweaked all the way on that side. So that means the frame is probably jacked up. Yeah, it's messed up. Yeah, we don't we don't want to fool with nothing that you have to oh then they got that big duck bill on there. That daffy duck bill. Yeah. I pass. Only bad things about the only bad thing about the E350Z is you know what I'm saying? They're they're always modified pretty heavily and and, and they have oil consumption problems, so I don't know if I want to go with a 350Z. Hey, let me know down in the comment section what y'all think, man. Automatic, negative. Front what? damage. Front damage. Back damage. Yeah, they got damage in the back. Then it's a drop top. No, we want a hard top if we ever get one. Whoa, nice front. Yeah, the front is nice on this one. Doesn't look bad. See, uh, is this... Does it say who the seller is? It don't even say who the seller is on this one. But as you can see, it's some circled um, damage on the back, which a lot of body shops, they do that. They put the damage and they circle it. So the inspectors and all them, they come and check it out and be like, oh, well, uh, do we want to do this or not? And, you know, they end up writing it off. And, uh, yeah, and they come to uh, Cold Park or any other auction. And y'all, please excuse. I'm sorry. I got I got the dryer going back there. If y'all hear the noise, man, I'm sorry, man. That's that's so unprofessional. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all, y'all cool, right? Y'all cool? Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got. We got a yellow one. Got the bumblebee. Bumblebee. Yeah, got the bumblebee. What you think? Oh. Boy, that looked like a tire hit that for sure. Skirt, skirt. Yeah, head up. It always has to be damaged on a car. See, that's what I'm telling you. These cars that we're looking at, they will be damaged. You know what I'm saying? They will have a problem with it. And me and you, we are going to buy new parts and we're going to build it together. How about that? How do we build them? You take it apart and you put something else back on it. Ain't that how you do on Roblox or Minecraft? You take uh -huh. it apart. Like Minecraft, you take it apart and you That's put it back together, right? 
Uh-uh. That's not how Roblox goes. I'm talking about Minecraft. Oh. Uh. Minecraft, you have to craft stuff, right? You got to build stuff. Mm -hmm. Automatic. That's a negative. Oh, this one. Oh, this is already a drift missile. Wow. This one's already a drift missile, boy. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa. Oh! Wow. We probably want to buy that thing in the back. Wow. Look at that. That looks like... Man, what is look at that stick? That looks like Kevin Owens Jr.'s car. No, on Roblox. no, he has a Lambo. What is this? Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, <laughs> damn! What is this water on here? <laughs> we do not want to buy any cars like this. No, and then it's a State Farm car, and it's a run and drive. But that's a the, farm car. State Farm. That's an insurance company. Yeah, but. We don't want nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. We don't want nothing to do with this. Uh oh, automatic. What is this? A burn? Oh, it's a flood car. Also, yeah, you guys need to look at the primary damage in a flood car. Yes, that means it was in water. It was in water. It was in water. That doesn't always mean it's a bad car. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you guys this. Uh, <laughs> from uh past experiences i'll see a car on copar and what it looks like may look good but in person it's totally different so i say if you're looking to buy something and you don't have money to just burn go check it out man go check it out for yourself go look at it because pictures can always hide a lot of damage man so just go check it out for yourself i promise you to save you a lot of time and money you know i i've uh I've seen a lot of cars that look good online, and when I got there, they look like trash. So, yeah, go check your car out. You go a blue one. I kind of like that color. What you think? Uh, it's automatic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, this wouldn't be that bad to fix though. It's only a door and a, a, a fender. Uh, that one, that wouldn't be too bad, but it's an automatic. Okay, this one, State Farm car, front end damage. This one doesn't doesn't look too bad. Automatic. Oh my goodness. Uh, Who drives a 350Z that's an automatic? Uh, this one got this one's banged up a little bit. This is automatic. Oh! Uh, why do we keep on finding automatic? It's a manual, but it's a drop top. Uh. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Man, whatever, man. We done. We done. <laughs> we done for the day with these 350Z. Uh. Man, Lord have mercy. Hey, we, we probably going to X out the 350Z. That's a no. That's a no go. No. You know what I'm saying? For now, we're not going to fool with 350Z. No. Go down there. This is what I want y'all to do. Y'all go down in the comment section. Please go down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want us to look at next on this co part. Searching for our new project, man. Me and my son, we're going to try to build it together. I want y'all to go down there. Comment down there. Let me know what y'all think. Or should we do the 350Z? Uh, just let me know. You know what I'm saying? We all know. But I, I feel like this might not be, you know, our type of build. But, you know, we're willing to try. This is something he picked. Next time, next week is going to be my pick. So if y'all want to see what I pick. Yeah. Man, that dryer, man. I don't know if y'all can hear it. But if y'all want to see what I pick. You know, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you can know exactly when we post a new video. Make sure you hit that like button because that's going to help us out, you know, get everything circulated so me and Taj can do epic things on this channel. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all guys for watching once again. Y'all take it easy, man. Y'all take it easy. Peace. You want my advice? Don't play yourself. And subscribe, fool. Psych!